Hello, this is Dr. Hanley at Hanley Innovations. Today we are going to take a quick look at how to analyze a simple wing using 3D foil. First, click the design button and this will bring up a default 1x1 one one meter wing. And what I'd like to do is to change it into an aspect ratio 6 wing. To do that, I just in change the span to 6 meters. And now we have the left quarter as one meter, right quarter as one meter as well. Next, I look at the position of the wing, and it's at the origin. And next step, I looked at the airfoils. I could change the airfoil by clicking select airfoil, and I can change it to a NACA 2412, for example. Hit in the NACA four digit button, the 2412. And that's one side of the wing is a 2412. From the other side is still a NACA 0012. I can change both sides. I click select and this becomes a 2412 as well. And I could correct CL near stalls and there are a few other options here that I can use. For example, I can show the streamline. Ah, oh, maybe let's not do that as yet. So now we have the wing and um, I can set the flow angle of attack to 5 degrees. It's already 5 degrees, 60 miles an hour. I make some other changes here on the wing. Um, I want to set the X resolution to 16. And that way, because it's a tapered wing, we get a better uh, resolution of the camber line. So now it's all set. Look at the forces and moments. We see that the lift coefficient at 5 degrees angle of attack is 5, 0.527 and we have a lift to drag ratio of 24.63 so another thing we can do we can look at the surface analysis and look at the CL versus angle of attack it takes a while to do that and we see because we set the stall model on this wing we have a stall our signature at probably around 17.89 uh, degrees. And another thing we can do also is look at the lift distribution across the surface. And there are a number of other things we can do using 3D4. But this was just a quick example of how to solve a simple um, rectangular wing. This is Dr. Henley at Henley Innovations.